an interesting case of long anterior zonules wherein the zonules uh, continue up to the center of the lens and makes the rexis more challenging. Cystitum rexis was not possible so it is converted to multiple injections of viscoelastic and a slow and steady completion of the rexis. You can see the zonules being stretched and as the rexis continues. Uh, those are the long anterior zonules which bypass, which don't get torn along the anterior capsule or tear but is stretched and disconnected from the capsule. You also see an upthrust and pinpoint bleeding from the angle region. The nucleus is rotated and lifted up into the anterior chamber after doing a good capsular separating hydrodissection. Nucleus is now bisected in, in visco infusing 25 gauge cannula and uh, as the nucleus moves it is separated from the endothelium by the HPMC hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. The second half of hemonucleus also is similarly expressed out of the entry chamber. The cortex system is systematically aspirated all around and an IOL is implanted inside the capsule or back. The patient has done extremely well post-operatively. This is a very interesting case. Tearing of the entry capsule was possible but the zonules still remain as you can see here at the edge of the rexis. Zonular filaments are seen protruding into the anterior chamber. Long anterior zonular system is known to be associated with glaucoma, pigment dispersion syndrome and Krukenberg spindles but bleeding from the angle region is unusual. Thank you.